there's just something about the raw energy of hard rock that really gets the blood flowing. Buzzing guitars, pounding drums, and screaming vocals combine to create some of the best, most heart-pounding music you'll ever hear. Whether it was the Stooges searching and destroying in the 60s. I want some, I want some, but do not or Guns N' Roses welcoming us to the jungle in the 80s. There's no party like a hard rock party, so get ready to rock, cause today we're looking at the best bands from the hardest decade of them all. The 1970s. I'm Nostalgic Nick with Do You Remember? And be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you dig our playlist. And subscribe to the channel for more throwbacks. But without further ado, let's all headbang together. Led Zeppelin. I mean, where else was this list going to start? With the group Rolling Stone magazine called the heaviest band of all time, Led Zeppelin was formed in London in 1968 and took blues and folk music and turned the volume to 11. They basically invented hard rock and absolutely dominated the 1970s. From 1970 until 75, the band released four straight number one albums featuring such enduring hits as Immigrant Song, and Black Dog. And that's not even mentioning Stairway to Heaven. Probably the most important and famous hard rock song of all time. Heck, the song was the most requested on rock radio for the entirety of the decade. Let's face it, Led Zeppelin were the godfathers of hard rock. And with over 200 million records sold worldwide, most of the world will agree that Zeppelin was certainly one of the best. Aerosmith. In 1975, Aerosmith were just another struggling band whose first two albums had been complete flops. Nobody would have ever guessed that one day they would be the best-selling American hard rock act of all time. People's ears began perking up when they released the multi-platinum album Toys in the Attic. Nothing conjures up images of the 70s better than that album's hit single Sweet Emotion. From the first words Steven Tyler croons, Can't you just see yourself cruising up to school in your Ford Pinto? Bell bottoms on, rolling up a doobie with your friends. Truly iconic. And with other smash singles like Walk This Way and Dream On, Aerosmith are certainly one of the best hard rock bands of the decade. Black Sabbath. It's no exaggeration to say that there would be no genre of heavy metal without rock pioneers Black Sabbath. When Sabbath released their first couple of albums in the early 70s, critics didn't really know what to think. After all, this was a time dominated by James Taylor and Elton John. And now here was a dark, fuzzed out band with songs like Paranoid and War Pigs that simply assaulted your senses. From the moment Ozzy Osbourne screams, you knew you were in for a different musical experience than you'd ever had before. Hugely influential to a whole generation of hard rock bands. Simply put, Black Sabbath helped invent heavy metal. Queen. Hard rock doesn't just have to mean throbbing guitars, pounding drums, and snarled vocals. Just ask Queen who experimented with genres as diverse as disco, Another One Bites the Dust, Another one bites the dust hey. and even opera with the eternal Bohemian Rhapsody. Goodbye, everybody. I've got to go. And we challenge anyone who thinks that Queen aren't hard rock to go listen to the insatiable riffs in the band's first single, Keep Yourself Alive. 
or the rocking good time of the Seven Seas of Rye. Hard rock if I've ever heard it. But because Queen are one of the most sonically innovative bands of all time, people often forget about their hard rock roots, even singing along wholeheartedly to one of the band's many hits. Cause yeah, Freddie Mercury and Co. definitely belongs on this list, and are one of the best hard rock bands of the 70s. ACDC ACDC might have released some of their most commercially successful albums in the 1980s, but the Sydney-based rockers got their start a decade earlier, and are certainly one of the hardest bands of the 70s. I mean, just based on 1979's hit single Highway to Hell alone, they'd still deserve a spot on this list. With brothers Malcolm and Angus Young thrashing on the guitar, and singer Bon Scott sneering and snarling his way through every song, until his untimely death in 1980 from acute alcohol poisoning. ACDC had one of the most potent lineups of any hard rock band of the decade, one of the greatest bands of all time, and just barely edging out Steve Irwin as Australia's greatest export. Ramones By 1975, the world of rock was at a crossroads. Many bands had taken the wrong lessons from Led Zeppelin and The Grateful Dead, and rock songs were soon starting to clock in at over 20 minutes. A far cry from Elvis or Chuck Berry. But then the Ramones entered the scene, and hey ho, rock and roll was saved fusing light, infectious pop songs. Seriously, go back and listen to Rockaway Beach, and it's easy to picture the Beach Boys singing the song, fusing with hard rock in an almost suicidal pace. The Ramones invented a whole new sound, heavy metal bubblegum, with iconic songs like Blitzkrieg Bop, and I Wanna Be Sedated, barely topping two minutes. The Ramones were the world's first true punk band and helped put the rock back in rock and roll. Kiss. You can be forgiven for thinking that the band Kiss is little more than a gimmick. The members all dress up like comic book characters, complete with full face makeup and outrageous costumes. The band's live shows are filled with pyrotechnics, blood spitting, fire breathing, and of course a levitating drum set. But if you look past these artificial contrivances, Kiss are actually one of the hardest rocking bands of all time. I Was Made For Loving You and Detroit rock city have become classics of the genre, while rock and roll all night might be the perfect distillation of the hard living, party ethos that is central to so much of what makes rock and roll rock and roll. And although Gene Simmons' tongue might be the first thing that pops into your head when you're thinking Kiss, never forget how hard they actually rock. Deep Purple We've already covered the first two of what the BBC described as the unholy trinity of British hard rock and heavy metal, Zeppelin and Sabbath, so it's about time we give a little credit to the third member, Deep Purple, who might actually be the hardest rockers of the three. I mean, how else would you describe a group who were listed in the Guinness Book of World Records as the globe's loudest band after a 1972 concert in London? But Deep Purple weren't just loud. They were fantastic. Look no further than the opening riff to their hit song, Smoke on the Water. Is there any more iconic hard rock intro than that? If so, please add it in the comments. And Deep Purple are also one of the most influential hard rock bands of the 70s, with members of Metallica, Van Halen, and Queen all citing the band as a direct influence. Not too shabby. The Who. By the early 1970s, The Who had undergone a remarkable transformation. Gone were the hipster mods who had been part of the first wave of the British invasion, replaced instead by some of the hardest rockers in the world, with Pete Townsend slamming the guitar, quite literally too. 
Keith Moon wailing on the drums, and Roger Daltrey hitting notes no human should ever be able to achieve. The Who in the 70s released countless hard rock classics, from Won't Get Fooled Again to Who Are You? Who are you? The band's sound was as cavernous as the arenas they constantly sold out. And despite Moon's overdose and death in 1976, The Who continued to rock just as hard for the rest of the decade. Van Halen. Okay, a quick honorable mention goes out to Van Halen, because although the band did do the bulk of their work in the 1980s, their first two albums hit in the late 70s. And boy, what awesome albums they were. I mean, check out the track list on their 1978 debut, Van Halen. You got Runnin' With The Devil, You Really Got Me, and Ain't Talkin' About Love. That sounds like a greatest hits album. But after some in-house argument, Van Halen was firmly declared an 80s band. So an honorable mention will have to do. So what do you think? Were those the best hard rock bands of the 1970s? Which did you rock out to while jumping on your bed? Did you see any of these bands rock out live? Please give me all live concerts, best records, and what hard rock band did we leave off? Let us know in the comments below, we read them all. As always, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you never miss a memory. From all of us here at Do You Remember, thanks very much for watching and continue to rock on.